Welcome to part 4. In this tutorial we're going to take a look on how to create and use mixings in SAS. A mixing is a group of CSS declaration that you can reuse throughout your entire site and you can even pass variables, custom variables, to edit dynamically this pre-made group of CSS declarations. Let's take a look on how to create our mixing. For example, if I have a class called translate x and I want this class to actually use the CSS3 declaration and transformation to translate the actual x value of the element that has this class, I have to write the attribute transform column translate x and then in here a value that could be for example 10 pixels. Now if you know a little bit about CSS3 you will know that this transform value will only work with Google Chrome most likely or with other browser if they accept just this declaration, but most of the time to be absolutely sure that our website will work on every browser, we have to redeclare this section as many times as possible with all the different vendors as an appendix of these declarations. So basically every time we use a CSS3 specific attribute, we need to declare all these appendix and vendor to make our website cross-browser compatible. And as you will notice, this is really tedious because we have to repeat all these declaration every time. And if we have to update this value instead of 10 pixel, we want a 12, we have to repeat this value for all these other declaration. So that's why we want to use a mixing. A mixing, as I said, is a collection, a group of CSS declaration that we can call dynamically and include in another class. So let's declare our mixing with the symbol at the mixin space and we want to give a name to our mixin that uh, it's better to give the name of the actual action the actual attribute that we're going to use in the mixin so i want to use the mixin name called translate x exactly like the class and inside here i can pretty much copy paste this translate x declaration paste it in here and inside the translate x class I have to just include the mixing that I just created so I want to call at include and then simply the name of the mixing that is translate x and semicolon at the end if I save I'm gonna see that in the output.css the class translate x now has all the attributes inherited by the mixing. So, just to give you another example, if I want another class called transform x, and I want the same exact declaration of, of the translate x, I have to just copy paste the include of the translate x and save it, and automatically I will have these two classes with the same declaration with me just writing one simple line of code. The super powerful thing about the mixing is if I update this code once for all these attributes and I save the file automatically, the editing will be applied to all the classes that are using this mixing. The other super cool thing about the mixing is that we can pass dynamic variables to a specific mixing and use that variable or those variables inside the mixing declaration. So let's use the brackets and let's define a variable called val and instead of 15 pixel let's replace this declaration here of pixels with the variable val and now inside the include the call to the mixing name we have to use the same brackets but in here we can specify the actual value that we want to use in this variable val and we can do the same here with another value. So let's save it and you will notice here that automatically the output.css 
is grabbing the mixing, all the mixing attributes inside this class and it's gonna apply the same value that I put here. So if I change this to 14 pixel and save it, all these attributes, they're gonna update automatically change to 14 pixel. While these other class that has the same mixing but a different variable is gonna have all these attributes set to 10 pixel. Another thing that we can do with mixing is to set the variable that we wanna pass inside the mixing with a default value. This is really handy because sometimes if we have a preset value that we wanna use throughout all the site and we don't wanna declare this or we don't wanna update, uh, this value knowing that we're gonna use it in multiple classes, we can put a default value. So for example, if I wanna create a mixing called animate time and I wanna create a variable called time, I can open the mixing and inside here I can define the transition, the time variable, type of transition and then I have to repeat. Now here I can create a class called, for example, box one, and I can call, as I did before, the mixing, animate dash time. If I don't declare any variable and I save it, you will see that here the output.css will trigger an error defining that the mixed animate time is missing the argument dollar time. To prevent this and to avoid to specify the same time, because if for example I want this to be 320 milliseconds, let's save it, and we'll notice that now our file is working. And I have another class that is exact same duplication as this one called box2. And also the box2 has the 320 milliseconds. And if I have also another class called box3, and also this box3 has an animate time of 320 milliseconds, and at a specific point of developing my project, I decided all these timing, I don't like it. I want actually a 360 milliseconds. This is really unfortunate because I'm forced to go through the entire SAS file or multiple files and change manually this variable. I can avoid this by declaring a default value for this variable by applying a column uh, sign after the variable space and then 320 milliseconds. So if I don't declare anything, automatically the system is gonna grab the default value here and it's gonna apply this default value here. And you will notice this because if I change this one to 500 milliseconds, you will notice that here I have box one and box two with the mixing, the transition and 320 milliseconds while the box three is at 500 milliseconds. And as I already said, this is really helpful because it prevents us to repeat the same value for different classes and just roll back to the default value that if we want to update on the fly for all the classes, we can just update it once inside the mixing, save it, and the update is gonna be rolled out to all the classes that are including the mixing. Thank you for checking this video and see you next lesson.